rope length is really short on one end. She gets off the end. What's going to happen if she rips off the one end? So, she gets over there and finds out the end is short on one side. What can we do on top to resolve that problem for her? Lock. Somehow lock this. Okay, we've got to lock. We've got to lock the short strand. We gotta keep it. Which one is the short strand? We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> so we've got to block both of them. How do we block both ends? Press the gumbo. Capture them. Yeah, capture them. Press the gumbo. Because then you could either one you can isolate. Yep. That way we're isolating. And you can feed one. them if you have to as well. Can you tip block on both? You too? can tip lock. You can micro traction. You can. Prusik, you can basic, you can put your handheld descenders on there. You just got a something something on both sides to lock each side because we don't know which one of those is going to be the free falling one. However, but you don't know which way the ropes are going to go either. Right. Because right? you may want to stop one from going one way or the other. Right. Yeah. But if you put a if you put, I'll just use my basic here as an example. If I put my basic on here and lock this this in and hold that, that's going to prevent this line from going any further that way. Right. Okay. If I do the same thing on the other side, then that's going to prevent that one from going any further that way. So by isolating both, then you've got to protect it. I've got to protect It'll it. Stop us. Yep. If this one will come up. If this one's the the top one. This will come up just a skosh, yeah. but it's not going to do anything because this one will catch. Does that answer that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you've got to block both sides, it really doesn't matter which one is going to go. Exactly. Yep. And technically, she could finish the repel even with one going through. Exactly. She just lets it ride. She just lets it ride through her device and going. keeps on going. Well, we've got those two blocks. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's creepy. Yeah. I can throw up. Yep. <laughs> so, how do we resolve that problem, though? What's the first rule of canyoneering? Contingency. Contingency. What if we don't know if the other rope length still reaches the bottom? Can we put a contingency anchor system into this? Not currently. Not currently. We need to get some slack, like we did, you know, if we okay. get just no slack. Then we can... But, you think, you're thinking too yeah. far out, okay? okay. <clears throat> Once she repels off of one end, we're going to have a slack end. So, when that slack end comes up, we can put a totem we in. We can put a totem in when that slack end comes up. Yeah. Lucky Let's you. Line up, catch it. So we've got it. No. So we've got be controlled because we've blocked both. So we block each side, and once we have that slack side, we can put that totem in. As soon as we but pull out, slack, yeah. if I put my basic on here and that's loaded, can I release that basic? No. <laughs> no. So you need to use VTs. So we got to put VTs on each strand independently. So then you've got. The and then each one's the isolated, load. and we have a load releasing hitch. Should have stuck with my first answer. That worked. <laughs> So going That's back, better. I said I'd have yeah. to recant earlier. Yeah. I told you guys don't ever put individual prussics on individual lines. <laughs> gotcha. When you said that, I was like, yeah. Oh, we're gonna be doing that. I wasn't right? thinking that far ahead. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that. Yes. <laughs> I'll back that up. She's been watching you the whole time. All right. This is now our first time doing this. So you are gonna hit a stopping point here. You want to lay her down. Right now, she it's hard tied, so it's just so that it's going to stop. Her. It'll stop her that way if she something does slip. She should be going off the end there. How close are you to the end of that little row? Oh, you're close. Never mind, close. There yep, there it is. Okay, watch this thing. Shift. We got you. <laughs> Man, that hurt me. That looks like that's oh, but it grabbed her already. See that? Yeah, grabbed through. her. Mm -hmm. 
so I can pull this. Yep. <laughs> yep. So that's the loose one. What do you want to do? What do you want to do for now? For now. So now we could block it, right? Like put it back. So now we can put a coat them in that side. We really don't have enough to lower actually all the way, but yeah. we really don't have enough to lower you with this little tail. So, so. And we can check it. It's like this one. either you I'm rappel down or else nothing. We can lower you down. Either you rappel down or or we can haul or we can haul you. Not sure who's uh, VT. Okay, cool. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't go. Lock over. off. Lock back off. We are going to put the totem in just in case. There you go. It's <laughs> right up on. Now she can go. <laughs> she started trying to go down with this tether still on her. Yeah, she won't go far. Don't unweight it yet. If you want to get down there like a couple feet from the bottom, we're going to lower onto the VT just so we can weight the totem. Better be, I threw the whole bag. Okay, so now the VTs we can let so things now you can start and... lowering the VT a little bit. She'll yeah. never even know that you're doing it. Yeah, so just mind it for Just mind it. Just mind it. Just, not no, other, no, other, other way. This. There you go. You're gonna slowly let just slowly the creep the it block. down until that block is on. Which it just about is on. There you go. It's on. Oh. And this can come off. Yep, now we can remove the prostate. We successfully transferred. Okay,